What's up guys, I'm Truman Lee, and today I'm going to be designing my new 44 custom glove. So if you didn't know, as of recording this, 44 is having a huge sale on their custom gloves, 27% uh, off for their 10 year anniversary. So today I'm going to be designing a pitcher's glove, and I've wanted a pitcher's glove for a while now because I mainly pitched. But uh, my current infield glove is right here, this is my uh, 44 custom that I got for Christmas last year. Um, this is 12.25 inches and it has an H web as you can see here. This is just the normal uh, 44 Pro Signature Series pattern. Uh, but I'm looking to spice things up. This is kind of, this is just a nice first custom glove. If you're creating your first custom, I recommend getting something nice and simple like this and I want to bring some swag to the team so that's exactly what we're gonna do in making my new glove and don't worry I'm not gonna use paisley in case you were wondering if you think that I think that that is swag or not I'm not using paisley because that is disgusting paisley is a disgrace I want a different type of webbing uh, I'm looking at a two-piece web, possibly a different one, but I want something that will hide the ball better than this. I've also had a few complaints from umpires this season uh, that this is a little bit too light of a color, so we're probably going to go with a darker color. 44progloves.com So, as you can see here on the screen, we got the 27% off sale. This is the last day. Uh, for this sale, but if you've never been on the 44 website, you just go right down to here and click glove builder Obviously, we want it to be baseball and infield just like I said, so now it's time for the pattern uh, The pro 44 pattern is what I have for my other glove um, And I like this one as you can see it's the most customizable pattern, but I, I'm not 100% sure I don't really like the closed back and I don't like this new crown tip. I wish that they kept the crown tip the way that it was. I don't really want the Japan patterns, and no, that is not racist, in case you were wondering. I'm gonna go with the 574 for now. And we're gonna make this 12 inches. One of the reasons that I picked the 574 is because it doesn't have this palm overlap like usually on the other ones it'll have a palm overlap right there and it also only has like a little bit of welting on the pointer finger we're going with the logo style i i'm not sure i might do a patch um because i know i want this glove i'm pretty sure we're gonna go with black and neon green for this glove because uh, those that's my favorite color combination um, so we're gonna go with the patch on this. I know that there is a black neon green patch uh, We're gonna go with the finger hood because of course it's a pitcher's glove So we have to have the finger hood. We're gonna put it on the middle finger because I like to flip people off I'm joking. Of course. <laughs> I do too in the pinky. So that's my reason uh, We're gonna go long laces like always. I love long laces on my gloves um, and I want the moisture wicking performance wrist pad. I don't really like fur on my gloves. It gets all matted up and nasty from sweat. Okay, and now it's the web style choice. So, uh, since this is a pitcher's glove, I'm gonna get a pitcher's web. But I just wanted to point out this eye web with the spiral lace. Mm hmm that's awesome. One piece web. Spiral lace, that's another cool one. That's like Javier Baez who makes a lot of errors, but his glove is still cool. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm gonna do the two-piece web though. I like it because it's gonna hide the ball really well. Obviously I'm righty and I want standard stiffness. Now we are on to the colors. I think we're gonna do an almost all black so that way it just it matches whatever team I play for since obviously I play for two teams. So the finger hood, I think we'll do it in black. Um, since I want like an all black glove. There's lots of options for black though. I could do the black snake skin. Um, I could do suede. I don't think I'm gonna do suede. It rains too much in Washington to do suede. I think we're gonna go with the black snake skin. I, I really like the look of the snake skin. Um, 
And then home plate, I'm actually, this doesn't matter uh, because I'm gonna do my custom logo on the thumb of this glove. So home plate won't be there anyways. Uh, laces, if they had neon green laces, which by the way, 44, if you're watching this video, please add volt green laces onto the builder. That would be awesome. Uh, but we're just, gonna, we're just gonna go with black laces. Uh, first leather option, I think we'll go with the black snakeskin again. Yep, that looks pretty good. Uh, leather 2, we're gonna go with the black snakeskin again. And now is at the point where this leather 3, lots of people will do a different color of leather. Mint is kind of cool. I kind of like the mint. I like the steel color. It's like shiny. That's really cool. I think, so... Oh, the tie-dye snakeskin. Let's see. Oh, okay. I think the tie-dye might be the way to go. Because this tie-dye, they just added it to the builder like a few months ago. I've seen so many gloves with this on it, and that that's really cool. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go with the the tie-dye snakeskin. That's dope. Uh, and then the logo patch colors, we'll do black and volt green, like that. I like the patch because it's like 3D looking palm we'll go with black or we'll, we'll do volt green stitching so that way we can get some more green on there so i think we're just going to go with the black snake skin for the web welting black if they had volt green welting i would also put volt green welting on this glove uh but 44 come on just add some more volt green So here's all the colors that I chose for the glove. Uh, we got black snakeskin all over the place, uh, along with this strip of tie-dye snakeskin. I think that looks really, really cool. And then obviously we have to have the volt green stitching and logo there. Now it's time to personalize. So if you want to get a custom thumb logo on your glove, in this option, the thumb logo graphic, you do none. Uh, and then the palm stamp, I think we're going to go 44 home plate. That's pretty cool. Um, we could do the baseball. We could do the pitcher or reverse K. I kind of like that. Could, let's see these. You can't really see them very good because it's black in there. But I don't know. We could do the lightning bolt. I kind of like that. We could do the field. We could do anything. I think, I think the lightning bolt will look good. I'm also going to do silver foil palm stamping for this one, uh, which is also one of the the special requests that you have to do. Thumb text, or we'll put it over here. Thumb text, we're gonna go Truman Lee because that is my name, and Volt Green, of course. Should we do index text? I don't know. We'll see how it looks, because um, I want my my motto slash saying slash whatever you want to call it be the best on there and now we have the special instructions so first of all we're gonna do the custom thumb logo so custom thumb logo definitely want that on there if you want to do a custom thumb logo uh, you have to say custom thumb logo in the special instructions and then you have to email your logo to them in a PNG usually. Uh, so custom thumb logo and I also want the silver foil palm stamping. But you have to specify if you want silver foil for all the palm stamping because otherwise they're only going to do it in this big palm stamp logo. So you have to say for all of the palm stamping if you want that. So I'm going to say the silver foil plus the indent for all the palm stamping so that way I so that way once the silver foil wears off I'll still have the indent of all the stuff on it. Uh, and you have to specify that as well if you want the indent. All right, so I think we're done with creating my glove. I I'm happy with this. Uh, I really like how it looks. Um, especially with all the black snakeskin, I give it, that gives it really nice texture. And um, then obviously the volt green. If they had the laces and welting for volt green, then I would definitely add that. Uh, but they don't. Alright, so here's the final overview 
of my 44 glove. We got Truman Lee, be the best, my motto. Uh, and then all the picture specifications like the web, the two piece web, uh, the finger hood on the middle finger, and then the tie dye. Yeah, this, this glove looks really, really nice. I haven't really seen anything with a lot of uh, volt green on it before at least for 44 gloves uh, so that'll be cool to see how it comes out but anyways I'm going to order this glove uh, we'll press add to cart tell me what you think of this glove that I created down below in the comments and thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed please like and subscribe and I will see you guys later goodbye